first drive time, 1967 Chevy Impala. This one's got a 283 with power steering. It looks like it's also got the AC compressor. We'll be testing it out. No power brakes on this one. Beautiful red paint job with the red interior. A lot of nice chrome. Sweet. Dual exhaust out the back. Guys, be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. Also, check out maplemotors.com for our financing and shipping options. And if you want to pick up some new gear, I got some new shirts. Check this out. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride with a Chevelle on the back. They're available on the site now. All right. Well, you know what time it is. Let's go for a ride. The interior on this one looks awesome. Got a wrap on the steering wheel showing 51,000 miles. Your dash up here, a little bit dark, but it looks nice, nice and clean. Same with your console, light scratches, but nothing major. Carpet looks good, seats look good, back seat looks like new. Package tray, is that some stink bugs? Look, call that some stink bugs. <laughs> Headliner, yep, I like it, nice and clean. All right, let's start this one up like that not too bad at all turn signals left side there right side wipers yeah they work blower motor is working compressor just kicked on is it gonna get cold we'll give her a second Radio. Give me three steps, give me three steps and miss. Come on now. Come on now. Pick up something. I just need to hear some sound. Never okay, yeah, 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 we're working. So radio is working on this one. Alright, place those bets. Do you think the horn works? Be trying it out. Power steering feels nice and silky. Yep, that's all we got left to try. The AC on this one, it's not super cold. Compressor is kicking on, and it's cooler than the air outside, which means it's working. And honestly, it's getting colder. The more I sit here, the colder it gets. So the AC is working. All right, place those bets. Horn. Dang. That thing's loud. Sounds like a train horn. Well, not quite that loud, but still. All right, so mom's side of the family, grandfather came up here, I stopped for a second. Kids came up, all the good stuff, that's why the car's on. But now, we're back in action. We're ready to roll. Put the seat belt on. Easily accessed, right there, with the holder. A uh, reverse. This is gonna be a good test drive, I can already tell. Click, click. Let's get it. We don't have to get any gas. Well, or do we? We might have to get some gas. I don't know. It's all the way past full. But it looks to be right on it, so I... Man. It's a boat. We're floating right now. Super silky steering. I like it. Woo! It's not supposed to be this hot in October. Our vent window, a little assistance, and it opens easier. It's pant leg therapy is what I call it. Here we go. I'm scared of this guy. <laughs> Speed honor is working. Good ship, good ship. When I let go of the steering though, fading to the right there. You see that? It's got to pull to the right. Getting in those brakes. The brakes feel good. Nobody's behind us. Got to take advantage of that moment. Back in the throttle. And yes, I'm holding it to the floor. This is a cruiser, not a race car. But it's still got plenty of power. We got up to about 60 there for a second. Now we're coming back down. 
if the speedometer is correct, that may have been more about 50, 55. Tight steering, it's just pulling to the right. I don't want to run out of gas, and uh, again, unfortunately, I don't think the gas gauge is 100% correct. If it is, I won't be able to put five gallons in it, but I'll try, and we'll see the outcome. Floated right over the curb. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull in here. Again, I'm gonna try to put about five gallons and I'll let you know about the gauge here in just a moment. I'll be back. We're walking, we're talking. We got $20 worth of fuel, which is five gallons, which means our gas gauge is broken. But, put the gas in right here behind the tag. There's our cap. Good spring on that one. She starts right up. She is nice and quiet. She doesn't do a lot of talking. She just wants to ride. Man, we're cooling in here. I even turned the AC on for a little bit. I got it off now so you can hear everything, but it works, it's cold, and that's awesome. She's been staying nice and cool as well, uh, engine-wise. Haven't noticed any smoke. 
it drives good it's got a lot of attention i had a couple of people pull up in the parking lot and watch uh, as i was making the video and also there was a guy at the gas station said his dad used to have one i don't know if he watches the channel or not but if he did i'm talking to you <laughs> Keep on rolling. Still got that right pull. Just quiet going down the road. in the throttle. My pedal keeps coming off the nubby down there. Well, kickdown's hooked up. I think the pedal was keeping me from going into the, engaging the kick down there. Once it popped off and I could get to the pure metal, it did it. I was wondering if it was gonna do it or not. Give a little bit more pep there. It's like putting a brick under the pedal. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching. Be sure to uh, check out the other videos I got on the channel here. Maybe check out maplemotors.com. And look, we're going to put on a high dollar car right there. But I'll be back. Thanks for watching. guys we're gonna talk about this car walk around it point out everything that I see so um, first off it's not overheating or anything on the antifreeze basically the, all that is is I don't have an overflow jug and when we buy these cars we top off the radiators top off all the fluids check everything out make sure it's full and clean but what we're gonna do now is walk around and look at the front end we'll see if we can find any damage here Yeah, it would be a smart thing to add an overflow tube to this so that it can pick that fluid back up. But also, when you get them in, it has to have room for all the fluid. And once it heats up, it pushes the excess out. Little chips there. Which could be caught in the canister, but this one didn't have one. If, little spots there. Some people don't understand that, but that's how it works. Coming down this side, we got some wax I just wiped off. Little bug marks. Tires are in great shape. Little bubbles there. Spots in the corner. Little spot over here. Just looks like some debris in the paint. Back to midsection. chip there a spot here in the paint I'm trying to make this stuff pop up for you light scratches here could have been from somebody leaning on the car too Front windshield looks good, trim looks good. Spot there. We got some bubbles up top, a little rust popping up, cracking in the paint. And 
little rust popping up here. It's in your drip row. Door handle's got a slight amount of pitting. Little bubble there. Spot there. Light scratch in the back here. Back window looks pretty clean. Tail light's got some cracks. A little bit of pitting. A little pitting on the back bumper. Looking in the trunk now. Let's go ahead and check these jams out. Little spot there. Decent looking mat. Somebody has changed out. Oh, but well we got moisture under it. So we need to pull the mat all the way out when we get back to the lot I'm just gonna roll it up a little bit and uh, make sure this dries out because the trunk is leaking water and it hasn't rained in a while so this water came from the wash they did on the car lot this morning could have just been the pressure from the hose but I'm gonna say either way even if it rains it's probably going to leak some water so seals in the back window seals in the trunk look good I'm going to say it's the sills in the back window, but that's not 100%. But my odds look good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> A little wax there. It does have the spare tire and the jack. Went on down. Gives me a good ang angle at the edge of the trunk lid. You see, paint's been touched up. And she should. Down this side. A little spot there. Cracking the paint here. edge of the door looks like it's got the guard on this side little bubbles at the bottom here a little rust trying to pop up chipping the paint causing the rest of the paint to bubble spots there and there a little spot here and here ding in your trim spot up in the front Line of the paint. Wax come right off. Little touch up marks. Spot there. Chip here. A little bit of pitting on your handle. Spot on top there. Turn across here, there's a ch chip there. Front window on this side looks good. 
along with the trim. A lot of extra glue at the bottom. Little spot there. Cracks up top. Got some bubbles, a little rust popping up. Little bubbles in here. Chips up in the front. Hi guys, made it around the outside of this car. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Bubbles on the edge of the door. Stink bugs are everywhere here. I've got these little stink bug things, they're all in my house. I've seen a couple in the last test drive. And there was one or two on a package tray back here when I opened up this car. I was like, these things are annoying, these little bugs. Oh, back of the console. I didn't see that from the front. Looks like somebody stepped on that. Oh, there's one right there. Little stink bugs. Let's get them out. Get out of here. There's another one. Golly. some holes right there it's been a, some gauges or something tack maybe that'd be kind of cool to have on the car throwing leaves out now <laughs> turn the key this one starts up so good Oh my pedal! Moving all the stuff around. There it goes. Running smooth. Insulation's a little boogered up there. Nothing that can't be fixed. Edges of the hood here look pretty good. Coming down with our hood. We do have some chips that I'm seeing here on the edges. Chip there, chip here. Couple. One there, that was a bug, that was a bug too. Made me think it was chips. Little bubbles in the paint. Right there. Right there.
bubble here. Guys, I appreciate it. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. We have detailed pictures on this car and every car on the lot at maplemotors.com, inside, out, and underneath. Hit subscribe, share this video. It's gonna help me out. I'm gonna head back to the lot and do one more today before I leave. Be sure to check out our new merch at maplemotors.com under merchandise. See you later.